Alright everyone, so now I'll start with uh, how to load our custom UI and uh, copy it into our local computer. So first we have to copy a tree folder from the latest uh, custom ZBrush UI settings. In this case it's uh, this folder that I've provided in the link. So uh, within this folder there is uh, three folders inside which contains uh, all my custom brushes, interface and alphas that I've collected over the years. And it's very useful for you to uh, learn them and uh, I also specially designed it to uh, make it easier for you to use it in ZBrush and let you uh, pick up advanced skills faster. So if you use this uh, interface settings, it will be faster and uh, when you do sculpting. Okay, so that's the rationale for this. So the, my three oh, uh, ZBrush custom settings is these three folders. Copy it to your local computer drive, so it should be. Z drive program files picture logic and then the ZBrush version behind here. Okay, so if I, I have a left windows, go to the right folder, select the three files, right click copy, go to my loader computer drive, the right location, go to an empty space and right click and paste it. Okay, so if you are prompted to replace anything or to continue anything, yes or no, always press yes. Okay, if you are prompted to merge any folder, just press yes. You will not break the software. There's nothing critical over here. So never say no because if you say no, you have to redo everything again. So always press yes. Okay, so in case you are wondering, by copying these three folders, you are actually merging three folders into the three local drive here. So there is already folders over there. So you're just adding adding more more files into it. Good things into the local computer. So you have uh, more things to work with, more brushes, more alphas. And then the folders are actually not replaced. And then you didn't create new folders as well. So if ever you realize you created new folders, you're pro probably uh, pasting into the wrong directory. Okay, so just to let you know, you should be there should already be folders there. So make sure you are using the right directory. So over here, you paste it here in the empty folder here. So because some people they will actually right click a particular folder and then try to paste over here. So that's not right. Okay, you have to right click on that empty space to paste it into here. So this is the easiest way to copy things properly. For example, in the Z startup itself, I actually have. A lot of folders inside so if you were to do it one by one it'll take a long time so by copying the three main folders like this just right click copy is the fastest way so to load the custom ui okay never mind now let me show you how i actually do it right now so this is the folder i've shared with you so go to zbrush settings select the three files right click copy so in the another windows explorer Browse to the right directory, C drive program files, picture logic, ZBrush 2020. Right click, paste it in. And then the, now you actually ask me if I want to replace it because I've actually done this before. But on your fresh computer, you shouldn't need to replace any. But if ever you have done this before or something, just say yes, okay? Because I may have uh, updated files that, or you may have done this before. You want to make sure you're doing this correctly. So just make sure you press yes. Okay, now our ZBrush shouldn't be open, or if you have it open before, close it. We want to start the fresh ZBrush 2020 so that uh, we'll be able to let it load our custom interface and all the cool stuff properly. So later when we have the, the uh, how we load the custom UI is that we'll go to preference, configurations, and we press load UI, load UI. Then we'll browse to the folder again, which is the folder where we paste the files, our local drive. But we'll go one step further in, into Z startup, double click into Z startup, double click into user interface layouts. Double click into user interface layout, you will find a layout.cfg file with my name. And you just double click it or you press open by selecting it. So uh, once you've done that, you will see that your interface color is changed to blue color now. It will look like this. And then you just need to go to preference, config, and you press store config. What you will do is that every time you open the ZBrush settings, it will be safe as this uh, blue interface right here. 
Now I'll show you. Okay, press uh, off my light box for now. Preference, config, load UI, Z startup, user interface layouts, load my configuration file. Open. Everything is blue, it's cool. Now we'll just store it so that it'll be on our interface every single time. Preference, config, store config. Okay, it's now stored already. Now we need to add in our hotkeys. So go to preference hotkeys, load hotkeys. Preference hotkeys, load hotkeys. So it's the same thing. We go to uh, Z start startup. So we need to go up one folder here because just now we went to user interface layout folder. So go up one folder and now we look for hotkeys. So it's ZBrush, Z startup, hotkeys, and then select our hotkey files over here. So the in you won't see a difference but it's actually on your tools right now it will show you but now we'll just save it preference hotkeys store hotkeys so it will store our layout every single time so now when we uh, reopen zbrush every single time you don't need to configure this again so your hotkeys will be with you all the time so if i were to just do a test to show you i open up lightbox lightbox is our browser in zbrush and double click on a cube So uh, by pressing the numbers on my keyboard, number one for create view up. So here you'll see our brush changing. So this is where we assess all the brush. Our brush is here. But uh, by having them on my shortcut, I can call them up very easily without pressing any buttons. Just my number buttons on my keyboard. Number one, create view up. Number two, page polish. Number three, inflate. Number four, snake hook. Number five, M standard. Number six, off crack. Number seven, pinch. Number eight. Pray rect rectangular. Nice. Uh, something else. Teach you later. So number one to eight. Okay, you should be able to just switch between your numbers on your keyboard, not the number pad, the numbers on your normal keyboard near the left side. Okay, you will be able to switch between these brushes really quickly, and then that means the hotkeys are working, and I can also see my interface is working. So let me talk a little bit about my interface over here. Okay, my interface, this is the newly added interface. And uh, the green color ones are the added ones. So this is, you can say that it's created by Alfred. So it's not default. The red color ones are actually default. And uh, just in case anyone really likes the default layout, it wasn't damaged or anyway. You know, the it was still there. I just added more stuff at the top. So you'll slowly learn what all these buttons does and their usefulness as I go through the lessons. Um, to talk more about all these uh, buttons I added on top. So uh, you will be able to tell where these buttons come from by looking at this chart over here. So for example, different colors represent different types of categories. So for example, if I'm looking at these cyan, cyan buttons here, so many cyan buttons, they all are actually under the cyan color right now because uh, they are actually all grabbed from brush category. So I actually went to uh, ZBrush and then the brush tab at the top and I grab all these buttons and I put it here. So all these, they are related to brushes. So that's why they are all cyan in color. So if you see all this, they are orange in color. They are actually related to the tools tab. If you see something blue color, they're actually related to the stroke tab. So you can tell where the default location are for all these uh, buttons here. And uh, you can actually go back here to backtrack to see uh, where you can find the default location if you are more interested in the default location. So to load the custom hotkeys, just now as I mentioned, number one key to number eight key, you can call it up all over here. And then I think I'll explain it more the next video, next time. Uh, by having these hotkeys now, it will speed up our hotkeys a lot because uh, all of their settings are all different and then we can make use of these uh, different hotkeys to just jump between the useful settings and not worry about them so much. So just to recap, to load the hotkeys, preference hotkeys load, load to uh, go back one folder to Z startup, go to hotkeys, select the uh, hotkeys uh, configuration file and then you'll be done. Last thing is to store the hotkeys, so you press uh, 
reference hotkeys, store hotkeys. You'll be successfully stored and every time you open ZBrush, you will have your hotkeys ready. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.